Hi guys, hope everyone is having a wonderful morning so far. My name is Dylan with Designs by Dylan, and I'm here at Ellis Home and Garden this morning with Dina, and we are doing a fabulous cross. This is perfect for the cemetery, and we chose to do this because Mother's Day is coming up. It's right around the corner, and actually the day, the day I get back from Mexico is the 11th, so Mother's Day is on Sunday the 12th, so right around the corner. I'm sorry we're a few minutes late, honey. You know, I haven't been here in a while, and I get busy talking to people, and then I realize, oh my God, it's time, it's 10 o'clock. So, we do have an item of the week each and every week, and so the item of the week this week is this Cemetery Cross. You can purchase this along with everything you see today at ellishomeandgarden.com, and it's 50% off. So, honey, better get on there and get you a few crosses because you can get these as gifts. You can use them in your, your own collection. You know, you can put them in the cemetery, like I said, but they also make a perfect door hanger. So, it's something that's not so traditional. So, if you don't want your traditional wreath or teardrop or swag, Get across. So we've done one in the past. Actually, one's hanging right here behind Dean. I'm going to show y'all, okay? <clears throat> so we've done it in the past. And so this is an example of what you can do uh, using lots of different ribbons. But honey, we ain't using ribbons today because not everybody has ribbons. And so I'm going to show you a more simplistic design that you can do as well using the same cross. Also, make sure you leave comments down below. Let us know where you're watching from. And anything you need to know during the video, just drop that down below. Hey Jessica, Sharon, and Suzette, how are you? Mm -hmm. oh, I'm looking huge today. Um, <laughs> I just look like I ate a pancake or something. But anyway, how's everybody been? Um, I'm trying to think. So Saturday, I leave for Cancun. I'm so ready. I've been tanning, honey, crisping up. Uh, I cannot wait. So we'll be there on Sundays when we fly out early that morning, like 7.30. So we'll be there before lunch, and then we don't come back until the following Saturday. So a full seven days in the sun on the beach with some margaritas several 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 i've got hangover patches to wear have you ever heard of those mm -hmm. yes can we talk guys i don't know if you've heard about this but they have these things called hangover patches and we're not talking about if you're going to get dropped down in the floor drunk but sometimes alcohol affects people differently you can have two drinks and have a headache but they have these little patches you buy on Amazon. That's how you know they're good. Amazon, you put them on your arm, and they just put vitamins in your body. And it works. That night that Josh fell down and ate the mulch, I had one on, and I felt wonderful the next day. So, again, get on Amazon get you some because they are some good stuff. Okay, so we're going to be using some fun flowers today. We're going to be using these red roses. Again, Mother's Day. This is perfect color for your mother, your grandmother, um, whoever you use this for. Um, so I love some roses. We're going to use one of my favorite buddies, which is the Lace Fern Bush. And for a filler, there's this cool daisy bush here. And I love it because I look at all the different leaves on there, foliage. It's got a little berry situation going on. So I love that as well. And it's a perfect filler. And we're not going to use any ribbon just because I want to show you an example of one without ribbon. Let's see. Hey, Christy. I know, girl. Hope you're doing well. Hey, Mary. Hey, Debbie. Oh, I'm so excited. I cannot freaking wait what's up what's everybody else been up to though hey carol okay the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cut these apart honey let's talk about it don't okay because <clears throat> i'm getting lightheaded thinking about this y'all oh dina i've got to tell you something don't just tell me later i feel like you're gonna tell me something i about blacked out when i walked in um we're gonna be using these a uh, don't don't do this Let's put the whole bush on there, okay? No, no, no. Same thing with cemetery cones and, and saddles. You don't ever want to leave this whole bush together because you aren't in control. I mean, this only goes a certain way. So if you stick this whole thing in there, it's going to be stuck the way that it's, it's made. So let's cut that all apart. I'm going to scoot this down a little bit so I have a little more room. Move that glue gun. But it would help if I get my wire cutters. But let me run and get those. <clears throat> I didn't even think about that. If you don't have roses, guys, you could always use um, some hydrangeas. You could use some peonies, anything like that to replicate the design that we're going to do today. Hey, Maria. Hey, Deborah and Christine. LaDonna, how are you? <clears throat> okay, so once we have these cut apart, I'm just going to start adding these things right up here in the center. This is made out of like a grapevine material. Super easy to um, insert your stems in. You can use this actually as your base or your foundation. You don't have to go and, um, you know, put any foam on here or anything like that. A couple of people are asking, do you know the dimensions of the cross? Oh, y'all, I don't. There's not even a tag on here. What would you say, Dina? That's probably 24 inches by maybe 16. We're going to say 24 by 16. Um, 
That's one of the few things I do know how to do in math is count. <laughs> but I do think that is. But you can find that on the website for purchase along with everything else. Um, Angela, they're called Hangover Be Gone or something like that. Girl, and patches are already popular. Yeah, get you one. I'm telling you, they work wonders. Okay, so we're going to start putting some glue on these stems each time. And I'm going to kind of do this at an angle. Okay? So we're going to pop these in, take off those trashy tags. Hey, Trina, good morning. Mm -hmm. Did anybody watch 911 last night? Me and Dina were talking about it just a second ago. Um, I've got a new show, though. Ooh, Dina, you're going to have to watch this one, girl. I give you my login info. It's on uh, Hulu. I got ready for this. It's called The Act. Have you heard about this? It's about that real life case that happened where the mother, she like had Munchausen, do you know what that is? Mm -hmm. And she made her daughter believe that she was sick. Okay. And she, you know, she's, she's in jail right now, I've the daughter. I've heard about that, yeah. Ooh, it's so good. It's got Patricia Arquette in it as the mother. And it's on The Act. I mean, it's on Hulu. It's called The Act. It's only eight episodes. But it's basically about this mother who she has like Munchausen. So she makes her daughter think as if she was ill like she has leukemia she has a sugar allergy she's got a feeding tube she can't walk even though she can and she makes her live this lifestyle and she the girl is actually 18 years old but she thinks she's 12 because her mother has done all this to her and at the beginning of the show it shows the mother face down and she's stabbed to death but nobody knows what happened so it kind of flashes back and gives you the story up to what happened but this is a real true life case you can look it up on google and um the girl's name is gypsy rose and the mother's name is Dee Dee blanchard and it's real people. Um, but it's crazy. I love stuff like that based on true stories. Uh, I love that. And, you know, until I found out the Texas Chainsaw Massacre was based on a true story. And now I don't do chainsaws. Mary, uh, yes, this video is live. Oh, she loves. She watches it too. Yeah, Mandy, it is a true story. Do I absolutely love it. Okay, I'm a little more glue on that dude right there. It is, Angela. It made me. It makes me like bite my nails the whole time because I'm like, if I was that girl, little girl, I know she could not help it because the mom was just so cruel to her and lied to her for so long. But I just was fighting for her, like, girl, get up, get up, get up, run off that door. Um, but you see what happens. But we don't know. I don't know really who killed her yet because I'm not that far along. I'm like maybe four or five episodes, but I, it's long enough for me to be hooked. Bobby says on HBO there's a documentary on it. <laughs> Oh, I'm gonna have to watch that. And somebody said she's a Dr. Phil. I love Phil. How you doing? Do uh, you like Dr. Phil? Mm -hmm. He will let somebody have it, won't he? That's why yeah. I like it. Can you imagine if he had an uncensored show? <laughs> um, also, did you guys watch last night the Queen documentary? Uh, we already know about Queen, but what it was about was um, the aftermath of after Freddie died and them thinking their career was over and, you know, they didn't really have an interest to move on without him um, because you can't. You know, you cannot replace somebody who's that big of a genius. But then they said, along came Adam Lambert, and they sang with him on the finale of American Idol, and they knew he would be booked up for a couple years after American Idol, so they waited and they called him. And I, I think he's the closest person to it because his voice is insane. He can belt it, and he's pretty, and everything else. So I love Adam Lambert. Do you like him? I like him. Oh, he, he can belt it out. So it was really cool to see the transition that they made between both artists. And, you know, he said from the very beginning, he told the audience, I'm not Freddie Mercury and I am not trying to be him. I want to just do my best at these songs and have a good time. And, honey, he can do them. He can do a good job. A lot of people said they watched it. Okay. So we're going to add one more of these roses. We're going to do an odd number just because I feel like on things that are more visible, um, such as these larger roses, I like them to be um, in odd numbers. Okay, so we have that on there. So now what we're gonna do is grab that lace fern bush. You know I love a good fern. And uh, take the tags off. If you don't have this, remember you could replicate this by using something that is similar, such as maidenhair fern or something like that. Same thing applies with this. Don't leave it in the bush form. Let's go ahead and, and cut her apart and then we'll add it piece by piece. Hey, Rosario, how are you? I see your little wine glass. Have you already had a little morning wine? No judgment. You know, I'll be having some too. Hey, Heidi, how are you? Uh, oh my gosh. Have y'all seen, have you seen, um, people are decorating these mannequin heads now? 
The flowers. You not seen it? I saw the one out here. I didn't she see did. It. She did like a little halo type thing. Okay, no, they put like a piece of styrofoam on the head, and um, they do this big production. I think we're gonna have to give Morticia a makeover one day on <laughs> the video. Wouldn't that be fun? Hey, Susan, how are you? Okay, this is great for length. So let's add some down here. Okay, let's go underneath this rose. And just add a little bit of this and that. Again, this is just green, so it's just gonna break apart all of that color. Thank you, Dana. Let's see. Okay, did any of my Longview, Texas, any of my Longview, Texas watchers or viewers go see Jim Brickman on Saturday night? Can we talk? I have to make sure I'm not sticking my hand on that glue gun. <laughs> that would not be a good scene. Uh, so Jim Brickman, if you don't know who he is, he's like America's romantic piano sensation. And I love him, okay? We have like, we're very close. And uh, when I started playing piano, like, you know, 20 years ago, I loved him. And I would, you know, I played all his music out of every songbook, every CD. And I've seen him in concert thousands of times. But he was in Longview, Texas, which is convenient because it's right down the street. And uh, I took Josh, and Josh has seen him before. He was still a little bit sleepy from the last time he went, he said. <laughs> but I said, Josh, shut up. We're doing this for me. We're going to have a good time. Deal with it. So we went, and we actually had a great time. And that was my, my one of my Christmas presents. And Josh got me second row. I feel like I could touch him. You know, he was right there. And uh, it was awesome. So did anybody go see it? They live in Longview. Did you see anybody? What? Like, how am I going to do that? Working the hours I work. What did they say? What do they say about working hours? I think hey. I misunderstood what you said, what you asked me. Oh, I said did anybody say that I went and saw it. Oh, I thought you asked me if I went and saw oh, it. Oh, no. <laughs> no, I know you have to work. Okay, we're going to keep adding in this greenery. Again, great filler. And once you add stuff in, make sure you pull it apart, you know. Get the most usage out of it that you possibly can. Debbie, this is our item of the week this week. Yes, I was just about to say that again, y'all. The cross, it, we, every week we feature item of the week, and we usually give you a 25 to 50% discount. But, again, this is great for Mother's Day. So, the cross this week is 50% off. You can purchase it along with everything else, this lace fern bush, the roses, the daisy bush, all at ellishomeandgarden.com. And everything is on sale. Chris says the band started that in her group. Yes, Amy did. Uh, I've seen a few things she's done. Really cool. Really cool. A couple of people said they can't find the cross. I don't know. Okay, well, y'all give me a few minutes. When we, before we get done, I'll find the cross and I'll pin it for you down below. And then Rebecca will pin it at the end. Yes. Your mom says she wants this for Mother's Day. Okay, Mom. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to keep filling in here and there. So everybody began getting their plants back out since Caesar's so ever. What about you, Dana? You have? I, I started know, getting them for my mom's. I know Dana has a lot of plants and she can take care of them, like, you know, during the winter. Um, my problem is I have that theory, but then I put them in the garage and forget, and then they don't get watered. And then I come out next season, I have twigs. You know, Lantana dies and the twigs are left. That's kind of what it looks like. But I do have to say, we had a, well this always comes back, but like we're the purple juice. And it's came, it's already like this tall and it, we cut it back last winter. And it sat outside even in the freeze and it did okay. It'll come back. Yeah. So I've got several different types of dew in one pot and I have all these different colors and stuff coming out of it. Mm -hmm. Fancy. Okay, I've got purple. <laughs> I've never even seen different kinds. Why should I have? The bigger kind that comes out of the ground and then mm -hmm. I'm hanging you. I have one of those on my back porch in the shade and it doesn't have to have that much water right? Right. Because I water it like maybe once every four days. Because it's in the shade so it's not sun soaking it up. But y'all I have some freaking um, well two. Boston fern hanging baskets and I have a million bells hanging basket. What are those called? Yeah the million bells. You have to water those every day. Especially the hanging baskets so they dry out. But You can get the little basket thing holders to catch water and Hold water in there for at least a day or two. That'd be good because they do, especially if you just leave them in the store bought thing, they dry out really quickly. Okay, Heidi said it's listed under grapevine and dries. Y'all give me just a second. I don't mean to put my back to you, but I'm going to find it for you, okay? Let's see here. 
after watching 911, I feel like I'm on the 911 operator. You know, on the phone. I think that'd be the coolest part about the job. No, you Nina. Mona says, I'm visiting my nephew in Longview this weekend. Will the cross be available? Uh, yes, there is some in stock here at the store. But they're not... They're not 50 off. You have to just get it online. Okay, I found it. So it's twelve ninety nine, and then it's not showing the discount. Okay, I'm going to post it in the comment section. Okay. So how are we looking? Now, you see we've kind of got a good flow going, but I have a few voids. So before we add anything else, let's add just a touch more of that greenery and fill that in again. That's a great reason I like to use this lace fern. Ooh, that's hot. It's because um, it is easy to work with and it's not too thick. Janet, there is no coupon code for the cross. It's when you go to check out, it'll come up with a discount. Yes. Okay. So we're going to cut this apart and continue. And just fill in some of these other spaces, remember. Um, and you want to insert these in a little bit further so you can kind of keep a good shape. Oh, honey, that scared me. I thought it was a jackhammer in here or something. <laughs> I told her before I started, the door was going to fall. <laughs> Thank you, Sonia. Okay, I'm going to hop over to the other side real quick and pop a little greenery right here behind that rose. Is it 25%? It should be 50. It should be 50. Okay. So we have the greenery so far. So this would be a great stopping spot. If you just wanted to invest a small amount of money and create a beautiful arrangement, again, for a gift, for your door, for the cemetery, it's great with just the roses and the greenery. But we're going to take it up a notch of just a little by adding a little color not a lot because we don't want anything the cemetery to be like, ah, you know, but I love these little small white daisies. So we're going to pull this apart. It's a bush. Um, this is available online. Also, I think the bushes are half off. By the way, if you guys live near one of our stores, um, you can go to the website and click on the location tab. Rebecca says there's something wrong with the discount. She's working on it now. Okay, guys. So Rebecca is working on the discount as we speak. Um, but if you live one near the store, if you live near one of the stores, we have a huge, and Dina can tell you too, a huge Easter sale going on. I mean, guys, super cool stuff, and it's discounted, what, 80% right now? Mm -hmm. 80% off, you have to get it in store. Insane. So if you're near one, come on by and check that out. Hey, Alicia, how are you? Mona's asking, if I purchase it online, can they be held for her to pick up on Saturday? Um, no, because... Uh, online you have to pay you have to do shipping so it's going to ship to your house and there the online store is in a different location than from our store they're about an hour away so there's probably not going to be able to, to work hey Paula they said it's fixed okay so she fixed it guys so I'm going to take my filler uh, now. I think they were talking about the cross somebody was talking about the cross being crooked oh yeah just on the nail okay so we're going to add a little bit of this filler to finish this guy off. Sandra, it's all the way up. And just cut some small pieces. Again, if you don't have this daisy, you could definitely replicate by using something similar, you know, or a different color if you don't want to do the red and the white. I just thought this would be perfect for Mother's Day. Nancy, it's supposed to rain here all week, too. Oh, I looked at the forecast and it did. It was like thunderstorms every day. Which is just lovely. Mm. Lovely. Okay, how's things at Walmart, Dina? Hmm. <laughs> I ask you that every week just because I like to sit here and do that. Um, but do y'all have tons and tons of Pioneer Woman stuff still? I don't know because I don't ever get out of apparel. Oh, that's true. Well, have I told y'all already about my 30 minute meals obsession? Have I told y'all about it last week? Mm -mm. Okay, I don't know if I've told y'all. I think I've talked about it on my, in my group and on Designs by Dylan. But um, I've always had an obsession with 30 minute meals with Rachel Ray. You know, in the time it takes you to watch this program, you'll have created a healthy, mini, healthy meal from start to finish. Remember when she say that? Uh, I feel like I'm on Jumanji. You know, and they say a little rhyme at the beginning. 
So she did a reboot 20 years later and she had 30 episodes. Today's the 30th one, so whew, it's almost over. But I've watched every single one. I like her meals because it's easy stuff. That it looks really good, it looks like it tastes great. That I can do at home because you guys have probably, if you have not already, head on over to my business page at Designs by Dylan and check out my cooking video. Did you ever watch that one? Mm -hmm. uh, well, we started out the video by, you know, I was telling everyone my two essentials in the kitchen are a glass of wine or bottle or an extinguisher. So when I started off the video, I had an extinguisher in one hand, my glass of wine in the other hand, and that's because alcohol and fire don't mix. So you just wanna make sure you are prepared. But um, I love cooking when I can, especially easy stuff. I can follow a recipe. I'm just not good at it enough where I can say, oh, well, this needs this, and I don't know what it is, but it needs this spice. So I think that kind of happens over time, don't you think? Do you like ginger? It, it varies, Small. yeah. And do you, you like fennel, you know what that is? That again Tastes like is... licorice. I don't think I've ever tasted it, but she uses a lot of that stuff. Morgan's on. Hey, Morgan, about time. Are you at the gym? Save me a seat at Subway. Rebecca said that it's fixed. Okay, guys, Rebecca has fixed um, the cross, so the link is pinned right there, so you can just click on that link. It'll take you directly to it on the website. And your mom says she really wants this for man's grave. Okay. Mom, I will make us one. Thank you, Fleta. For Fleta. Okay. Keep adding this in. Look how pretty that white is. It's great contrast next to that that red. Well, Sue says need to have another cooking demonstration. Yeah, I can't believe you haven't seen that, Dina. I'm going to send it to you. Uh, it was hilarious. And you know what? I'm going to just go ahead and tell you all right now. I'm going to tell Dina before she watches because she's probably going to call and cheat me out too. Uh, nobody's dying of salmonella, okay? Nobody's dying. Uh, they were going in on me because, let me tell you what I did. It's probably, <laughs> looking back, I could have done it differently. But um, I was cooking chicken breast and I made this sauce and I, I put all these spices on the chicken breast and I kind of rubbed it with olive oil. And then I touched all the spices and stuff without washing my hands. But it's going to cook off, honey. I mean, once you cook the food, it's going to cook off. Nobody died of salmonella. So that was my only learning curve that I took. Throughout cooking, you always want to make sure you touch or wash your hands after touching raw meat, especially chicken. Salmonella is not our friend. Any poultry, turkey. Ooh. So, yes, I have learned that, so you got to go back and watch. Duh. They were going in on me, though, for real. Oh, duh. We won't have any ducks at my house. <laughs> That's too bad. No. I can do chicken breast. I, and, y'all, the best part about it was I love to cook ground meat and steak. I can touch that all day long and make a meatloaf. It just grosses me out to touch chicken. It feels like I'm messing with organs. <laughs> like I felt like I was on Grey's Anatomy or something. So that's the only part. Ooh, ooh. And you have to, it just makes me cringe the whole time and you have to take the scissors and cut off the, you know, the white stuff on there. Mm -hmm. oh, you hate it too. Oh, I hate it. I, next time I'm gonna get some gloves. <clears throat> I think. But see, I'm not like that with ground meat. I can touch ground meat all day and I'm fine. Gagging sound when you touch the chicken. Yeah, I did because I was literally, I couldn't do it, okay? And I'm not really a, a weenie or whatever you want to call it. I just can't do chicken. That's one of the things I can't do. All right, y'all. I think she is just about done. So let me just pull her up and show you. Again, we used um, this 24-inch grapevine cross. I was close, see? Um, because that's what it says. It's pinned right there on the website. Don't forget, it's half off, so six fifty, And you can buy as many as you want. And it's just this week at ellishomeandgarden.com. Everything else that we use today is also on sale and available on the website. So we started out with the roses, and then we came back with the maidenhair fern, or not the maidenhair, the lace fern bush, and then we added that daisy filler. And all of that stuff is available. So here's two different options that you can do. One of them has ribbon, okay? And one of them doesn't. So now you have two different ideas or possibilities that you guys can do with your crosses. And remember, hang this on your door. It's not so traditional. It's perfect for Easter. I mean, now that Easter's over, though, you can do this in any type of design. Or put it on a little easel out by the cemetery. Um, it's perfect. I know Mother's Day is coming up. Or, you know, birthdays or holidays. I love uh, using these all the time. And now I'm going to make one for uh, my grandmother's grave um, for Mother's Day as well. So, thank you, Cynthia and Fleta. Also, while I'm on, 
I just want to let everyone know that next week I will be gone to Mexico, but we are going to record a video here in just a second, and it's going to be released next Tuesday. So it's like I'll still be here, but I won't be live, but um, it's going to be an Infinity Grapevine wreath with 4th of July colors, and we're going to be using the Probo. So that's going to be up on next Tuesday. I won't be here. It won't be a live video, but at least you guys will have a new video. And the same thing applies next week. The Probo is going to be released next week, and she'll have all the discount information available for you guys next Tuesday when that uh, video comes out. But thanks so much for hanging out with me today. You can find me at Designs by Dylan. I'll be trying to go live from the beach, honey, uh, show you my drinks and my room and everything. So y'all check me out on there. Also, I have a monthly design group, Dylan's Divas. So if you're struggling with floral design, hit me up on DylanPalmerDesigns.com, D-Y-L-A-N, and you can find out more information about my group. All right, guys. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful week. I'm not going to see you again before Mother's Day, so have a blessed, happy Mother's Day with your family. Spend it with your mom and uh, eat something good for me because I know they usually have Mother's Day lunches. So, All right, guys. We love you for watching, and we'll see you next time here at Ellis Home Bye, guys. Bye.